here with meteorologist Shay Sorensen. Shay, I wear a jacket into work every single day. I'm permanently cold, but today <laughs> I actually really needed it. <laughs> yeah, this morning it was a little chilly out there, still cool. We're in the 50s and 60s most uh, for most of us, but places in the south and east still waking up in the 40s. So yeah, we've had some pretty cool mornings, but each afternoon is going to get a little bit warmer, and so will our mornings. But high temps today, low 90s, so we are out of the 80s, unfortunately, at least for most of us. Places like Corona Day 2, Sun and Vale will still warm into the upper 80s. Light breeze northwest at 5 to 15 miles per hour with overnight lows tonight back in the 50s cooler than average in the mid to upper 50s but a little bit warmer than the last few mornings to the south and east in the 80s and low 90s with overnight lows tonight mainly in the 40s and 50s now as we head throughout the rest of the week temperatures will warm up but overall pretty quiet weather wise but we've got some cool stuff happening this week not only do we have a super moon but we also have a total lunar eclipse to look forward to so the super moon will rise tomorrow evening at 649 so set an alarm be sure to send us all those photos and at the same time not exactly the same time but Wednesday morning there's going to be a total lunar eclipse and this will go from 411 in the morning to 427 in the morning so it's only going to last about 15 minutes so be sure to set your alarms and the moon is actually going to be a red hue or a little bit of a blood color just because the earth blocks out the sunlight and the uh, the moon appears blood red because of all the sunrises and sunsets on earth so very cool and guess what we're going to be able to see the whole thing here on the west coast on the east coast unfortunately the moon will be setting for them so they're going to miss out on the total lunar eclipse but we'll be able to see it so send us your photos mid 90s tuesday wednesday upper 90s thursday friday definitely getting pretty toasty with a high temp near 100 degrees on saturday so definitely stay hydrated and maybe limit your time outside towards the end of the week that is a check of